Welcome to the ITIL4 IT Asset Management Practice Certification E-Learning from One World Training. This is under the ITIL4 Practitioner Certificate. There is also a more elaborate IT Asset Management course, which is under the Specialist Certification. And that is also offered by us from One World Training. We would like to first acknowledge people certain and Axelos as we have used their materials in this courseware. About One World Training. We are a global training, business simulation, and training company having offices in USA, UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, United Arab Emirates, South Africa, and many other countries globally. We provide training in IT, business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR, and many other topics for individuals and organizations. We deliver courses in five different ways. One, public classroom based. Two, online, which is virtual. Three, e-learning. Four, a blended approach of e-learning as well as support when you need it from us, and five, at the user's location on-site, that is for both private and government organizations. One World Training is authorized and endorsed by leading global professional bodies. And we have put here some of those logos for some of those bodies and also some of the courses that we offer. About the IT Asset Management Practice Certification Exam, which is a practitioner certificate. It is a 30 minute exam, which is a short exam. Uh, there will be 20 multiple choice questions. Each question carries one mark. You need to obtain at least 13 correct answers, that is to pass the exam. There are three types of questions, standard, negative, and list questions. The standard ones are the usual multiple choice. The negative ones could be a question such as which of the following is not correct, uh, that type. And list means, you will be given four options and two of them would be correct, but eventually your correct answer choice would be the combination of those two. So in any case, you will always have a final set of four choices and you need to pick up one of them. There is no negative marking. It's a closed book exam and the exam is invigilated. Now, if you're taking the exam in a language which is different from your spoken language, then you receive additional 25% time. So that makes it 38 minutes in total. And the system will recognize your language spoken versus your exam language based on the profile that you fill in when you register uh, your profile. The exam is at level two and level three of the Bloom's Taxonomy of Learning and Testing, uh, which has six levels. Uh, level one is to remember concepts, recall that is. Number level two is to understand more about them. Number three or level three is to apply the concepts. Level four is to analyze. Five is evaluation to make decisions that is. And six is uh, to produce some new work in this area. So the exam is at the understanding level and the application level. There will be more understanding questions and uh, some application questions. The exam syllabus indicates uh, the uh, which topics are for application and which are for understanding only. And we will also make that clear to you as we progress through this course. So at the end of each topic, in subsequent recordings, we will be reading out the syllabus and that will make it clear whether it is an understanding or an application type of topic or a combination of both. This is a view of the overall ITIL4 certification scheme as it stands right now. At the bottom, we have the ITIL Foundation. This is required to aim for most of the upper level certifications, except for, if you look at the extreme left, we have got the ITIL Specialist Acquiring and Managing Cloud Services and ITIL Specialist Sustainability in Digital and IT. So these two do not require a candidate to complete the foundation exam or certificate. Those are extension modules, but there are two other extension modules, which we also see about this ITIL foundation at the left side, which is the specialist business relationship management. And uh, so this one is the specialist IT asset management, which is a more elaborate course as compared to the course that we are in right now, uh, which is the practitioner course for IT asset management. And you can see this here, a bit towards the right side uh, under the plan, implement and control bundle. Now, these are three bundles. So at the top, we have the monitor support and fulfill bundle. Uh, there is a separate exam for this, and that exam covers five practices, which are listed below that. 
And then there is the plan, implement and control bundle, which has five practices and uh, which includes IT asset management apart from four others. So which means that you could write each of these exams, uh, obtain each of those five certificates, which are listed under plan, implement and control, or you could obtain a single certificate for plan, implement and control by writing a single exam. So the plan, implement and control exam is a longer exam as compared to each of these five individual exams that come under that umbrella. So you could do either way, you could obtain each of these five certifications or anyone that you prefer, or you may take the entire bundle. Uh, you will learn the same, but sometimes you may need to pick up specific certificates or sometimes pick up the bundle. Now we have the monitor support and fulfill bundle at the top, and then we have the collaborate assure and improve bundle at the bottom with the five certificates there. And all of these are known as practice manager certificates. So once you have obtained any of these five certificates, so for example, I could pick up service desk, change enablement, release management, continual improvement, and maybe even IT asset management or relationship management from the left side, uh, but exclude the other two towards the extreme left. So if I pick up any five of the 17 certificates that appear here, and plus I do the create deliverance support, then I obtain the ITIL practice manager certificate automatically. It's also possible if I do just one certificate, for example, monitor support and fulfill, which indicates I'm already certified in this five. And then I do the create, deliver and support. Then also I will receive the practice manager qualification automatically. Assuming ITIL foundation is already done. So there are various ways and you can also read at the two footnotes here, which gives you uh, clarity on what I'm explaining right now. Now, there is also in the middle, we have the ITIL Managing Professional, which is made up of uh, Create, Deliver and Support Certificate, then the Direct Plan and Improve, High Velocity IT, Drive Stakeholder Value and ITIL Foundation. And then at the extreme right, we have the Strategic Leader Qualification, which is made up of Direct Plan and Improve, Digital and IT Strategy and ITIL Foundation, which means that the Practice Manager does not have a separate exam. Similarly, Managing Professional and Strategic Leader do not have separate exams you get those uh, certificates or qualification automatically when you finish the ones underneath them. And the ITIL master means you have covered all the three streams, the practice manager stream, managing professional and the strategic leader. So once again, the strategic leader would mean three certificates, direct plan improve, strategic ITIL strategy and ITIL foundation, ITIL master, uh, below that managing professional here, which requires direct plan and improve, create deliver support, high velocity IT, drive secure value and foundation. And then practice manager, which requires any five of the 17 certificates. So, or it could be a plus the create deliver and support or create deliver and support plus any of the bundled certificates, such as monitor support and fulfill. So that was quite a lot, but it's an easy thing to look at if you understand those two footnotes at the bottom of this slide. The learning outcomes, uh, there'll be subsequent recordings for each of these learning outcomes. So there'll be seven additional recordings after this one. The first one is about to understand the key concepts of the practice. Usually the, the first uh, recording is a long one. And also the second recording, which is about understanding and applying the key concepts, uh, key processes of the practice. That is also a relatively longer recording. And afterwards we have shorter recordings from three, for three, four, five, six, and seven. Number three is about understanding and applying the roles and competencies of the practice. Four is about understand how information and technology support and enable the practice. Five, understand the role of partners and suppliers in the practice. Six, understand how the ITIL capability model can be used to develop the practice. And seven, apply the recommendations for the practice success. If you note carefully, some of these learning outcomes have the word apply in them. Number two has apply, three has apply, then seven has apply, which means these will have application questions. Now, number two has understand as well. Three also has understand as well. So those will have, apart from application questions, they will be understanding questions also. But the others, such as number one, four, five, 
and six will have only understanding questions in the exam. So the sections or the recordings that will be subsequent to this introductory recording will be the seven, very similar to the learning outcomes. Section one or recording one after this would be key concepts of the IT asset management followed by the other sections, similar to the learning outcomes that we went through.